Hello fellow crafters and welcome back to Max DM Crafting. Today we are gonna build a huge ancient library. Stay with me. I did it again. I was starting with a little project about a little library and then I exit with this uh, huge project actually. I don't know how to explain it. Basically every time when I start build something, something inside my head take control and then my creativity just can't stop growing. You have already seen my tutorial about the bookshelves. Actually this was the first initial project. Then uh, yeah was not enough and uh, basically I decided to create a full environment for uh, my next encounter. This is quite a long video, it's full of techniques, not just uh, building a library but uh, actually other stuff. I think, uh, yeah, you should take a seat, have a beer, have some biscuits, have some chips and uh, enjoy the tutorial. But before start, please remember if you like my work, if you like what I'm doing here, consider the idea to support this channel by Patreon. Follow the link uh, below with a little subscription, just one, two euros for a month, just one, two bucks. You can support me and sustain this channel. Another great way for sustain and support me is donate something through PayPal. Consider like, you know, you offer me a coffee and uh, you help this channel grow and do better and better. On the description box below you have also the affiliate links uh, on Amazon if you need something, some stuff, some uh, tools uh, and materials that you need to use I recommend through those links to buy them. Also in that way you can help this channel, okay? As I told you, now take a seat, relax, have a cup of good tea or coffee and uh, enjoy this tutorial. See you in a bit. This will be a modular piece, so we start producing a series of 10 by 10 cm tiles, about uh, 4 by 4 inches, about 7 mm thick. Look at my previous tutorial number 36 to see how to build a large bookshelf. For this project I created 9 of them, then adapted into the various modules. My technique for books has also allowed me to adapt one of my small shelves to this project. The result is guaranteed by the use of foam segments of different thickness and uh, the addition of one or two individual books here and there. For this whole project I have always used PVA glue, decidedly more cleaner than uh, hot glue. The only disadvantage is that the drying times are much longer.
in my project I wanted a door on the first floor. The technique is always the same. Here you can see how I'm using yet another 10 by 10 centimeter tile. There is so much wood in this room. For my technique on how to create realistic wood uh, with foam, see my tutorial number 4, as usual. Bricks. Tutorial number 3 for my ballpoint pen technique. Here you can see how the PVA glue or even the tacky glue are great for precision positioning. These grouts of books are made in seconds and offer a great visual impact to the piece. To glue such a thin door, put the glue on the edges of the door and place it on the table. Then have the wall inserted from above. In this way you will have a flat positioning and a clean glue. These two bookcases are a vertical variant of my previous shelves. Note the addition of weight to the bottom with washers. the large window. Every great library has one, from which I like to imagine watching scenes of night thunderstorms or overlooking gardens and cloisters. Let's come to us. See these fantastic gothic windows I ordered from shiftinglands.com. For stained glass I use an acetate sheet, printing 
a fantasy image of my taste. With one of uh, Shifting Lens uh, templates, I created uh, the right sides opening. Also, note here that the modular wall is 10 by 10 cm. All this because uh, it is perfectly compatible with my Fusion Tile system. Look at my tutorial number 19. I first inserted the lower structure, then I used the second window to cut out my glass. I didn't put glue on the sheet to avoid compromising in transparency. Once fixed, the two windows acted as a blocker for the acetate sheet. I then completed the piece with my usual brick pattern and uh, with a pillar to give more uh, dynamism to the wall. I alternated walls with bookcases, inserting screws of a couple of centimeters in each piece to increase weight and stability. I have thus concluded the upper floor of the library. Now the loft. In my project it uh, surmounts the large lower bookcases, supported by stone arches. In this type of architecture, it is very important to highlight the bricks that surround the arches, as you see here. I inserted in each column a pin of about 3 cm to increase the resistance.
as you can see I inserted small nails to make it more resistant and also for embellishment. The wooden balcony were cut from pieces of foam about 4 mm section. Here too you see how I use nails for embellish the whole piece and for make it more resistant. I have not filmed the construction of this uh, staircase. It is very simple, by the way, and made from blocks of foam. Its peculiarity is that uh, it was engraved with a pen in a mix of bricks and wooden boards. Details. They make the difference. I own several small bits from my nearly 30-year collection of Fantasy Warhammer models and so on. This deer head looks great on the window. These details come from uh, elven armors. I used them for embellish the walls and create small statues and trophies with which to embellish the shelves. Time to paint it all. First the basic colors, brown and grey for wood and stone. Then the basic color for the books. I like the bouquets to be very colorful, but uh, you can reduce the tones by using brown and beige variants for an older look. The paintings you see that I'm gluing here can be found in my tutorial number 35. Take a look.
And that's all. This uh, huge piece is an epic scenario, typical for finding magical books and ancient objects with mystical powers. I would say beautiful. Modularity allows multiple uses of each piece, as well as endless combinations. That's it. Ok friends, this is it for today, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you like this video please hit the like button, smash it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends, ok? Remember, if you like what I'm doing here, if you like my work, if you want to support me, please consider to donate something through PayPal, another great way to support me is through Patreon, for all this support please just follow the links below, ok? Till next time! Epicrafting, my library rats.